Would you please welcome the beautiful, the talented, Vanessa Williams. Woo! Yeah! Chris Kelly gets all the great jobs here. Have a seat. Hello, Vanessa. So happy you could join us today. Well, thanks. It's great. I'm a big fan. I know like half of these people. I know that's a true story. You know, behind the scenes here at Dance Party USA, Vanessa came in during the commercial break. She turned and said, oh, there's Jimmy Jam. And there's Chris, there's Chris and Jenner. You guys are brother and sister, aren't you? Oh, so nice. We're, we're going to get into your video. We love this song, The Right Stuff. We'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, there's a couple of things that I, I wanted to talk to you about, okay? Uh -huh. we, all know, we all know your situation, that mm -hmm. what happened. Uh -huh. Okay, now, there's something that you may not know, but everybody in this studio, especially of our regulars and permanent guests, can kind of relate to that. Being on television and going back to their high schools, a lot of times, and I think they'll nod and agree with me here, sometimes some people have some things to say to them. They assume mm -hmm. things about them that may not be true just because they're on television, and right, so, right, sometimes it gets right down to being ridiculed. Mm -hmm. My question to you is, how did you feel when everybody was talking about you? When every time you picked up a newspaper, you were in it, and uh, everyone was, was talking about the story, and how did you bounce back? I mean, how did you feel while that was going on, and then how did you bounce uh, back? How I bounced back? Uh, well, I, I think I was fortunate enough to have a great family, uh, a lot of good friends that, I mean, from high school, from college, uh, a good core of people that basically supported me. I mean, I think without love and yeah. Uh, yeah. some kind of foundation, you can't go on. Yeah. So, good uh, that was <laughs> That was part of it, and also, uh, I really, you know, I, I always dreamed about having a career. I, I've been singing all my life, dancing all my life. Yeah! Uh, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got a real fan here. <laughs> I think, I think anything you say, Andre, is going to go, yeah, good answer, yeah. But, you know, I, I wanted to get on with my career and uh, let the dust settle and move on ahead. And, uh, yeah! I <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Vanessa, I know that you're traveling w for the last couple of months now. Uh -huh, okay, yeah. and your daughter Melanie is trying to make her way up here. We might as well get her on. Come up here, Melanie. Everybody, say hi to Melanie. Bring her up to mom. You're also traveling with your husband. Yeah, exactly. He's my manager, so it's it's work and marriage. Also. And as you just said, it's obviously a strong family. Yeah, yeah, it's it's great though. It, it gets a chance. I get a chance to travel with them, but also it's definitely professional because you know the singles out the the albums out and I'm I'm excited about promoting it and I also can get my family to yeah. come along. Yeah and I guess I guess your advice to our dancers would be that if those situations were to come up in school, mm -hmm. come up on the streets, to just rely on friends and family to let them know that they are that they're okay. Yeah and and the bottom line is if you know you've got the right stuff, they're going to find out eventually. Yeah. All right, one more question about um about the past, uh -huh. if you don't mind. Do you feel, looking back on it now, here we are, 1988, the summer of 88, it was, it was a while ago, mm -hmm. you feel back, looking back on it now, do you feel that, that losing the crown hurt you or helped you? Well, honestly, I mean, I had worked my tail off for 10 months being Miss America, so I, had, I already proved that I could do it and that I could do a good job at it. So um, I think that it obviously hurt me because uh, it was a very painful experience for myself and my family. Uh, and, but I constantly have to prove again and again that, yes, I am talented, yes, I can walk into gum at the same time. And you are beautiful. <laughs> right. So <laughs> it made me stronger, definitely. Okay, now the song, The Right Stuff. We're kind of proud here at Dance Party USA because uh, it seems like we always say this, but it's the truth. We were on it first in the country. Oh, we, we had it out of the box, as they say, and uh, we loved it. We were jamming to it for a long time. I've, I've read a couple of quotes of yours. You said that a lot of people you felt didn't know what to expect from you when they heard you were going to come out with a record and that you wanted to come out slamming, and you have. That's right. That, well, you know, I think people expected either some, some, some weak ballads or s to sound like a clone like a Janet or a Whitney and I wanted to make sure that I had my own unique sound and that I could hit them over the head with it. Uh, I wanted it to be slamming enough where people would turn up the radio and say, whoa, what's that? And then when they found Get out it was it. me, they'd say, whoa, <laughs> she's pretty funky. Yeah, it's a, it's a great record. Now, the album is called... The album's called The Right Stuff and uh, actually... It's I on Wing Records, which is a division of Polygram. But I did record one of the uh, songs in Philly called Dreamin' by uh, Donald Robinson, a producer, and we did it at Sigma Sounds, the infamous Sigma Sounds, so it has that Philly sound and it really turned out well. It's one of my favorites. Okay, now the next single. I, I had thought, uh, and listening to the record, I, I had also read that you said you were kind of partial to ballads. Is that mm -hmm. true? Oh, absolutely. I love ballads. I think you can really tell when a singer really knows how to sing and, and phrasing and, and just range. And I love them, painting painting pictures. There's a ballad on there called Dreamin', and I, I was assuming that that would be the next single. You've told me I was I'm wrong. Well, uh, you know, kids are still out, and they still want to dance, so we're coming out with another slamming single <laughs> called He's Got the Look. <laughs> Looking forward to partying to that song here at Dance Party USA. We're going to get into the video right now. Where was this done? Uh, the video was uh, done in Pasadena, and uh, Jeffrey Daniel, who used to be in Shalimar with Jody Watley and Howard sure. Hewitt, uh, he did the choreography, and uh, Rebecca Blake was the director for it. 
Okay, Melanie, is it okay if we get into the video spotlight right now? Is it? Sure. Melanie says, go for it. Dance Party USA video spotlight. Vanessa Williams, let's hear it for the right stuff. Hi, this is Vanessa Williams. Watch me on the USA Dance Party on the USA Network. This is Vanessa Williams. Watch me on Dance Party USA on USA Network. This is Vanessa Williams, and if you want the right stuff, join me on Dance Party USA on USA Network. Hi, this is Vanessa Williams. If you want the right stuff, join me on Dance Party USA on the USA Network.